what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? For, uh, forgot to mention in my last couple videos that it's... I passed my 100 video mark. Woo! So, oops, sorry. So, really happy that I'm I'm trucking along and making... <laughs> Ooh, bless me. Lots of videos for YouTube and really happy. But, oh yeah, this is why we're on this website. Look, it's Captain Machiavi. Modeling Techniques Warhammer Style. And it's Modeling Techniques www.modelingtechniques. Oh, come on. There we go. Dot co. Dot uk. Check it out. It's a good friend of mine. Logan Zaraki is his name on YouTube, and he has compiled a whole bunch of of artists together on this one website. So he's going to be linking a lot of tutorials, some general tips, and just a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be really cool. And look, Warboss. Hey, that's me, son. He's also got awesome paint job, girl painting, obsidian painting. What was table this mood? Buy painted and Jawa balls and Templars Crusader one, five star rating twenty two. So all these are YouTube painters that he was able to get to help out with with this website, and it's it's totally cool. Check it out. There's it's it's constantly being worked on, and he's he's doing his best to to make it look as good as possible and I'm really happy for him. I hope it launches. I hope it gets hundreds and thousands of, of hits and views and everything. And yeah, just wanted to just wanted to give it a shout out and say best of luck with that. So let's take a look at what I've got on the table today. I've got a bunch of night goblins. These are the night goblins from the box that I unboxed a little bit earlier, but they've got a little bit of flavor of flav to them. As you can see, I wanted to do something a little bit differently with them, and what I did was I made them, I stuntified them. I gave them a lot of dwarf bits. So, this guy's got a dwarf shield. This guy's got a dwarf helmet. Dwarf shields. They either have dwarf shields or dwarf weapons, like this hand axe. Uh, Dwarf hammer, dwarf hammer, dwarf axe, and three guys have the nets because there are only three nets in each set. But I gave each of them a little something something because I figured that the I, I wanted to give these guys a little bit of, of fluff and flavor. So I'm gonna make these guys the either raiders or looters of a dwarf hold. So they were either strong enough to overwhelm the dwarves at a hold and, and beat them down and take all this stuff, or they were lucky enough to, to raid it after the dwarves have lost to some skaven or under, underground trolls or, or some other nefarious means. And so that's why they've got these dwarf armaments. But stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a how to paint how to batch paint a large unit such as this. And if you've got your own night goblins, then you're probably not gonna use all the techniques, like you won't need to know how I painted the dwarf weapons or the shields or anything, but it's it, it'll still be a great tutorial for, for if you do wanna paint night goblins, I'll teach you how to paint the robes, the skin, the weapons, the I mean the night goblin weapons, as well as the night goblin shields with all the moons on them. And so stay tuned for that coming up. I've also, I'm also putting the finishing touches on the how to paint a demonette or boss tutorial. And I'm also getting into all my Malifaux stuff because I'm planning on October being a month of creepy crawly stuff. So I'm going to be painting a lot of core or specialty units for the vampire counts because they're all gothic horror and whatnot. So some zombie, ghoul, skeleton tutorials. Stay tuned for that coming up. Anyways, just wanted to send this little video update out and get you guys ready for the batch painting of a unit of Night Goblins video. And just to say, I hope you're all you all are doing fine out there. And thanks for sticking with me. For those of you who have, who have found me at some point before my hundredth video, 
and thanks to all my new subscribers who've been leaving lots of cool comments, liking the videos, and thanks for my old subscribers who've stuck with me for a long time. You guys are the best, man! And uh, uh, let me know anytime. Let me know what, what you want to see me do, if I've got it. Chances are I've probably got it somewhere around here. Uh, the, the reason why I've got dwarf shields and armor mints in the first place is because when I did a commission job for for some dwarves a long, long time ago, like my first couple videos, then I, I, I got a lot of extra bits out of it and my client was nice enough to to give me the whole bag of bits as a, as a little bit of a reward for for painting up his dwarf army, so so thanks to him for that. But yeah, if this is where it all started, these dwarfy bits with my first video a couple years back on painting a dwarf army. So it's it's amazing to see how far I've come along, and I'm really happy with the progress that I've made. And I hope I can make many many more videos that will keep the community happy. So take care. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Wah! That's what my goblins sound like when they shout. And they shout, wah. Wow. Wow.